What's going on gamers and collectors? DGC back with another video and today we're taking a look at my Game Boy collection. All of them. <laughs> Alright guys, so what's going on? Uh, I got my Game Boy Keller way back in whatever year Pokemon came out. I got this. Pokemon. And for whatever weird reason, Dave Mirror's BMX. <laughs> um, so I got Pokemon Red. Played the absolute living shit out of that. Enough. This is still my original copies here. Uh, the sticker's worn down. You can't really tell. The back on it just has dozens upon dozens of scratches back here just from sliding in and out so much. Never got past the first level of Dave Mira, but I sure tried all those years. Um, so I got that. Got the Dave Mira. This is still my original uh, Game Boy Color from way back in the day. Uh, I, I love this thing. No batteries in it. Always keep your batteries out if you're going to leave it extended for a long period of time. Uh, I love my Game Boy Color. Absolutely revolutionized my childhood man because as a kid all I had was Super Nintendo then I went to this then I went to the GameCube um, so this was this was what I had when I was like you know 10 to like what well, I don't know I was probably nine when I got the Game Boy Color but man did I love this thing back in the day it went everywhere with me I used to get in trouble bringing it to school I would take it on field trips I would take it to the dentist to the doctor just you know whenever I'd be running errands with my parents I'd just sit there my mom, she always jokes about it that Donkey Kong Country from the Super Nintendo, the music, she can just say, she says she just hears it in her head all the time still. And then the, the Pokemon Red music, you know the music. And she claims she can just hear it in her head all the time and whatnot. And obviously, she's just busting my balls about it. But, um, you know, so those two games alone really just stand to the test of time with me. And I, they just invoke a lot of memories with me. But Game Boy Color... Uh, I have two link cables for this still, still my original stuff, um, and then we'll go over these here in a little bit. But so for my actual Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, um, we have Donkey Kong Country here, great game, uh, not as good as the actual Donkey Kong Country, but still good, and then Tony Hawk Pro Skater, not entirely sure why I put a piece of scotch tape there, but uh, nevertheless, this is still mine from when I was a kid, and then... A, a game, I want to say I got this with Christmas money, the first Christmas. This is Spider-Man for the uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, don't know why, but I really just have a hard uh, a hard on for this game. Just, again, probably because of, definitely because of nostalgia. But kind of a crappy game, but I still just, it, again, great music to it. Not a great game, but it still just really just is for me. I think that's actually it for Game Boy Color games. Although technically, I believe this is a. It's both. It's a Game Boy Color game and a Game Boy game. Uh, this is Link's Awakening DX. Um, so I've mentioned this before in the past. Uh, all my friends had N64s. Uh, I grew up in a relatively small town near the capital of the state of Maryland, but still a relatively small town. Uh, so everybody knew everybody in the town, as far as you know, kids goes. But. Um, so all my friends were playing Ocarina of Time, and like I remember one time it was it was uh, exactly, I guess maybe 20-ish years ago, whenever, because um, you know I just rebeat this on the Switch after you're probably watching this. But um, when this came out, I just remember all my friends were playing Ocarina of the Time. I, I probably didn't get it the year it came out, but I remember all my friends playing Ocarina of Time, and then I saw this, and then in my little childhood brain, I was like, oh, that's portable Ocarina of Time. Now granted. It didn't look good, but in my brain, I was like, oh, man, I was so excited. I was like, I'm finally playing Zelda, and I'm playing what everybody else is playing. And um, this really, I mean, you can tell that this sticker on this is really beat up because I, I just, I played the absolute crap out of this game back as a kid. And it really was special to me that Nintendo brought that back. And uh, I had a phenomenal time playing it again on the Switch. They did an amazing job porting that over. I'd like to see them do that with the Minish Cap, which is definitely top three Zeldas for me, probably this being number two and then Wind Waker being number one. Yeah, I know that's probably weird favorites. Most people would be like, what? But yeah, those are my favorite Zeldas. Uh, let's see here. Then I saved up paper route money and I bought Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Blue. 
These are still my original copies. This actually sat, and again, it's got both the front stickers are worn out. This has stickers on the back from the Pokemon Snap, and those are worn out on the back too. And that just, I, 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 I kid you not. I mean, I, I'm sure every kid can say that they took their Game Boy with them everywhere, but I took mine everywhere, man. This is, um, this is still my original, my original bag here. This wasn't even a Game Boy Color bag, so I actually like, it could fit the Game Boy Color in here, and then eventually it wouldn't fit my GBA in here, so I modified the case. But after all these years, like this is mine from when I was a kid, so this is the one I'm keeping. Um, plus, these are not easy to find in good condition. Then, aside from the plastic that's broken, the rest of it's in good condition. Um, here's my little worm light. I know y'all remember the worm lights if you were a Game Boy Color guy. Um, <laughs> and then I still have a bunch of the little cases in here and everything. Here's some screens for some GBAs. Um, another little case in there. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I, so I have a, a family summer house up in um, Western Maryland. And you know, I have a lot of cousins. And it's for the whole, you know, that side of the family. So as a kid, uh, there was two cousins specifically that had Game Boy Colors. One was a year younger than me, and then the other one was two years younger than me. So it was me, that, and that one. We were always playing Pokemon, always linking up the cables. And, you know, in the upstairs of the place, there was three beds. And then there was two cots that would go over here for the younger kids. And um, we would slide our beds together. At, 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 you know, it would be late for us. It would be like 10 or 11 at night, and we'd slide our beds together. And we'd be sitting there battling with headphones on and shit. And it was just... I just, I miss those days of being a kid and just being carefree and just battling with the Pokemon. The one cousin that was one year younger than me, he was a Blastoise, guys. I'm a Charizard guy. He got Pokemon Blue, I got Pokemon Red. And that, all throughout our life, we kind of had this unspoken rivalry of things, and it, I, I really feel like it derived from Pokemon him being Blue and me being Red. And then, of course, the other cousin got Pokemon Yellow. And uh, it just uh, and it was funny too because we all each had a different Game Boy Color color. So I had the turquoise, which turquoise is still to this day my favorite color. Uh, the one that was under me, he was had the uh, the lime green, and then the other one had like the see through purple one. Um, let's see here. Then here's a here's a classic piece right here. This is the Game Boy uh, uh, Game Shark Pro. This is mine from when I was a kid as well. I cheated on Pokemon a million times. Not the first playthrough, probably not even the second. I've probably played each one of these Pokemon individually probably a dozen times. Um, now some other random Game Boy games that I've gotten over the years. This is Pac-Man Special Color Edition. So I guess this must be a Game Boy and Game Boy Color game that works in color on the Game Boy Color. Uh, I don't remember when I got that. And then this is Super RC Pro-Am. And then here's another game that recently got a remake on the 3DS from Nintendo. This is uh, Metroid 2 uh, Samus Returns, or Return of Samus. It's a crappy game on the Game Boy. Back in the day, it was probably badass, but now it doesn't live up. Just play the 3DS version. And then, in fact... Oh, where is it? The real version that you should play is AM2 our Sam Return of Samus. Uh, this is a nice custom piece that was made for me. This is a magnet. There's that look at that disc. That's sexy um, But yeah, that's the version you should really play um, It's made on the GBA engine for fusion and zero mission yada 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 The, the 3ds one's okay um, Then you got Super Mario Land Super Mario Land 2 now here's a game that I really loved back in the day Kirby's Dream Land uh, This is probably where my uh, is where my love for Kirby came from um, the first time I played Kirby, I was probably maybe six to eight years old. It was at um, my uncle, and by uncle I mean my dad's best friend. Uh, we went over to his house for crabs, like it was a huge like crab thing. That's a Maryland thing. Um, and you know, I was a little kid, and I had like a crush on his daughter who was like 20 years old, and I was like six, but you know, little kid crush or whatever. And she like took me up to her room. And she, she pulled out the NES. All I had was SNES, so I didn't know what it was. And we were playing Kirby, and it's just one of those early childhood memories of me playing games and just really falling in love with Kirby. And then, you know, one day I got it on the Game Boy, and I just, you know, it just all clicked. And I was like, oh, man, I really love Kirby. And to this day, Kirby is still one of my favorite franchises. Now, here's another game that, you know, I don't know why, but it just, because I played it so young in life, it just really clicked with me. Bubble Bobble. Um, this is the, you know, that's still my copy from when I was very young. 
show those last. Then, <laughs> speaking of the summer house that I had when I was a kid, for whatever reason, this was randomly in the couch of the summer house. It wasn't any mine or any of the cousins. It somehow randomly got into the couch, but this is uh, Final Fantasy Legend 3. So I believe that is a remake of 2 on the NES. I'm honestly not sure. But I played that a good bit, but as a kid, I just didn't really understand it. and It was a tiny screen and yada, yada, yada. I wouldn't mind playing that as an adult now, so I might actually do that. And here's another really cool game that Nintendo... What are you doing? You should totally remake this or make a sequel to it. Uh, Pokemon trading card game. Fantastic game. I remember playing the crap out of This game actually still holds up to this day. If you want to learn how to play Pokemon, at least the old school original game, this is how you figure it out. Um, let's see here. Now, we got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Fall of the Foot Clan. Then we got the original Donkey Kong. Not country, but the original. And then this is probably the most sold Game Boy game because it was sold with the Game Boy, Tetris. Then we got Game & Watch, Gallery, I'm not entirely sure what one that is. Here's a game that pisses me the fuck off. This is Bart Simpson Escape from Camp Deadly. This game's hard as balls. All of the Simpsons games are hard as balls. I don't know why because clearly they're aimed for kids, but they're hard as shit. Now, uh, we got two more games here for the Game Boy. So these clearly work on the Keller, but they were launched for both so that both people could play them. This is uh, Pokemon Gold and then Pokemon Silver. Uh, both of these are my childhood copies. I played the absolute crap out of these games um, constantly because I had a GBA and a GBA or GB Keller so I would constantly trade Pokemon, do this and that, do all sorts of shit and I had all five of the Pokemon Game Boy Color games and I just I had an absolute blast with the Game Boy Color way back in the day. Uh, then eventually the Game Boy Advance came out. This is not my original one. This is the original one that I had, though, the Glacier one. Um, as a kid, you always end up trading stuff in and regretting it later on. I regret getting rid of my Game Boy Advance. However, this is a very minty one that I actually just recently purchased. There's literally not a scratch on the thing, and it's in amazing shape. So I finally got one back. Um, I love this thing. I kind of want to do the screen mod to it. I haven't decided if I want to do that or not yet. Because... I have ASP as well. This is not the AGS 101 though, however, this is my childhood SP. Uh, very happy to still have this. The outside of it is pretty well fucked at this point, but the inside is still perfectly mint. So I never took the Game Boy Advance with me a lot because it was so cumbersome, but when this came out, game changer, man. Because look how small that is. As a kid, like as a little kid, this was like your cell phone, man. Nobody, nobody left without their SP, man. And I just, I, I just, again, I remember going to all sorts of different places all the time, just always having this and whipping it out and just, just playing the shit out of it. Um, so now, um, jump into my Game Boy Advance collection here. A decent little amount. Uh, I have them in these little cigar boxes. Um, all right, so let's see here. The only Pokemon Game Boy Advance game that I have is Leaf Green. Then we got, uh, oh, I love this series, the Mega Man Battle Network series. The cousin that's two years younger than me happened to one day randomly get a um, the original Battle Network, and uh, you know we were at the again at the summer house or whatever, and I peeked over. And I'm like, "Yo, what you playing, man? That looks fucking awesome!" Because it's got the if you've never played it, it's just the battle mechanics are really sweet, and it's just it has a great story to it. And I just and you get to like build and customize, and then there's this great epic story. And uh, God, I need to get that game again. I think they're kind of pricey now, but this is Battle Network uh, 4 Red Sun. I think this took the route of the Pokemon games in the sense that there's like two versions of all that and whatnot, and there's a little bit variations, but this is currently the only one that I have. Uh, this is not super pricey. If you want to get into the Fire Emblem series, this is a good start. This is Fire Emblem The Sacred Stones. Cool, cool game. Actually, haven't had time to actually play that one yet. Then we got Castlevania Circle of the Moon. I haven't had time to play that one yet. I got I recently got a lot of th these and a lot, but somebody requested that I do a Game Boy Collection video, so I figured I would do one. Uh, then we got Super Mario Advance. Great game. Beat the shit out of that many times as a kid. Um, this is a remake of the original Metroid, so this is Metroid Zero Mission. Fantastic game. Beat the crap out of this many times back in the day. Not my original copy, but I got this in that little lot. Uh, amazing game. I loved it. 
I would like to see this and Fusion be ported up 1080p, boom, on the, you know, on the Switch. Oh, that would be amazing. Um, now, here's a really good Kirby game that doesn't get a lot of praise. This is Kirby the Amazing Mirror. Really good game. Then we got Castlevania Harmony of Dissonance, I guess. Yeah, Dissonance. Uh, I don't know much about that. I was actually just talking to my buddy Rocker Gaming the other day. He was mentioning this is a really fantastic game. Both these Castlevanias are really good, so I can't wait to jump into these. Um, I plan As much as I like playing on the little screen, it's fun and yada, yada, yada. I really just like playing on the TV now because I'm kind of an old man at this point. So I have a uh, Game Boy Player as well, and I have the component cables for the cube, so it gives a better picture. I really would like to get one of those nice hoary... Uh, like SNES shaped controllers though that would be awesome to find uh, then we got uh, Lunar Legend I don't know if this is its own game or if this is a 32-bit version of the original game maybe I'm honestly not sure but uh, definitely interested to find out here's my favorite game of all time uh, Donkey Kong Country for the Game Boy Advance however it's not I would still recommend playing the Super Nintendo version. It just... I don't know, it's probably nostalgia talking, but just... The SNES version is just better for some reason. It, it might not look as crisp and whatnot, but... The sound and just... The feel of... I don't know. It's just... It's just better on the Super. Um, here's a cool game. Actually, not a terrible game. Definitely enjoy this one. This is the Crash Super Pack. The Crash games on the Game Boy, their 2D side platformers. Uh, pretty fun, not gonna lie. Uh, here's a cool game that you don't hear a lot about, and you don't get games like this very often anymore. There's two games that I can specifically think of, and then a third one that kind of is sort of like this. This is Yoshi Topsy Turvy. There's also a Game Boy Color game of a Kirby game that has like the extended pink uh, thing, and I guess it's some kind of gyro game. And then the only other game that I can remember that has a big-ass cart like that is... Um, Pokemon Pinball, which I've been dying to find, but I never see it. And then whenever I do, it's missing the battery cover, which is a Game Boy Color game. Uh, then we got one more row here. So I actually own this complete in box. I remember watching a specific bigger YouTuber talk about this. I had wanted the game. I bit, I bit the bullet and bought the complete. Actually, it was new in box when I bought it. And this is Guns, uh, Super Gunstar Heroes. So I have this basically mint in box, and it even came in a plastic clamshell. But I obviously... I'm not a weirdo. I open up my games. They're meant to be enjoyed. Um, so we got uh, Gunstar Hero. Really good game. Tough as balls. There's multiple different pathways you can go in and yada, yada, yada. Easily my favorite Game Boy Advance game and my most played Game Boy Advance game, period, bar none. Played the absolute living hell out of this game. This is Advance Wars Black Hole Rising 2. Or Advance Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. I don't know. But either way, played the absolute living crap out of this me and the one cousin that was one year younger than me. Um, I'm not saying their names just in case they don't want me to for whatever reason. But me and him, oh my god, we played the crap out of this. Because you could play off one cart. Nintendo's not lame like that. They let you do cool things like that. Um, so, you know, we would play this. Um, we would, you know, his family would take me on vacation for summer. Then my family would and vice versa. So there'd be like two whole weeks every summer where we'd just be hanging out gaming the whole week. Um, man, <laughs> we had some good times, him and I, when we were younger. We, we really did. But um, Advance Wars 2, I love this game. Then we got the Battalion War games, and then we got a couple DS games, which I have I have Dual Strike, and then there was another one for the DS. I don't have that one. Um, and then you got the, the new games, uh, War Groove, pretty good. Uh, and then you've got, um, what was that one called? I forget what that one was called. It was on the Switch and the PC. Um, I forget what it's called. I bought it. Somebody will remember in the comments down below. Kind of tiny, tiny troops or something like that. But either way, there was a there was a big um, skepticism behind the game of how he funded the game and whatnot. You know the one I'm talking about. It was okay, uh, but oof, man, I don't know. Like if they were to bring this back, they totally could because people totally would support the game. Don't know what Nintendo's doing. But I don't know if they would still call it Advance Wars or Battalion Wars, if they would call it Switch Wars maybe, or I don't know what they'd call it, but man, I would love a new one. Or again, 1080p, this game, and it would be awesome. Uh, then we got Super Mario World, Super Mario Adventure 2. Good game, obviously. Oh, God. 
This is the only classic NES series game that I have. This is Castlevania the original. Then we got Super uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Pretty good game here. Um, I'd like to get the other two. Uh, Implant Games, one of my favorite channels. He actually just did reviews on these not too long ago. He mentioned that they're pretty good. Um, so I, I definitely would like to get the other ones and give them a shot. Uh, we got Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga here. Uh, really fantastic game here. I remember playing this in my friend's minivan with him. He was playing it on his and I was playing it on mine. And uh, I just remember we were waiting out outside some lady's house with his mom. I forget why or whatever reason, but we were there for like an hour and 45 minutes and we were both just sitting there playing. And then the mom gets back in the car and then we're just like, oh, it's been an hour and 45 minutes because we were just so immersed in the game. And just, uh, this series kind of, much like the Paper Mario series, it's not really the way it once was. It kind of stride away from what it was, but the original is still pretty damn good. Got a little stack here and then we're almost done. Uh, the original Advance Wars, still a good game, not as good as the second one. The second one added a lot more features and, and uh, units and all that kind of stuff, and it was just a, a far superior game. Then you've got uh, the remakes of Final Fantasy 1 and 2. Uh, definitely want to play those someday. Uh, and now here's a... <laughs> whew, talk about a game that I spent a lot of time on as well as a kid. I don't know why uh, or why I picked this game up, but I remember buying this new. This is still my original copy. This is Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. I don't know why I picked it out or for whatever reason, but I did. And it was just one of those games as a kid. When did this come out? Uh, it doesn't actually say, does it? Look, oh, 2001. So I guess I would have been 11 or 12-ish. Um, Again, I don't know why I picked it out, but I did, and then like I just I fell in love with it. You start out, you're like this little boy, from what I remember, and then I remember there being like a snowball fight or something like that, and and I don't know if this is the same as the PS1 version or a sequel or similar or completely different. I don't know. I want to play that one as well, but uh, dude, such a good game, such a cool game. So many hours in that. There's so much customization and just little strategy, you know, tactics, RPG is what it is, and it's just a very fun game to play. Really recommend that one. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. It's my second favorite one. I like Donkey Kong Country 2 the least out of the trilogy. Go figure. Everybody says that's the best one. For me, it's 1, 3, 2. Uh, ooh, another game here. Again, I don't know why this really just sticks out to me in my brain, but Mario Kart Super Circuit. So I live in Annapolis. Uh, Baltimore's 30 minutes that way and DC's 30 minutes that way so as a kid I was constantly going to museums and field trips and what have you always going to DC and Baltimore doing different things um, I remember one time we went to the National Zoo which is in uh, DC and I was probably I don't know when did this one come out this was uh, oh one I think maybe that says I'm not entirely sure but I just remember playing the crap out of Super Mario Kart when we went to the zoo and I was like walking around looking at animals playing Super Mario Kart and uh, just having a blast with it and I just really love that game. And then uh, last two, go figure, they're Mario games. You got Super Mario World 2 and then Super Mario World 4 or Super Mario Advance 4 and 2. Um, so that's all the GBA games. A decent amount. Um, that's a lot of them. But yeah, so that's where my current entire Game Boy collection sits. I have a couple link cables and other random things like that. I also primarily, when I do play them portably, I use my DS Lite because it's lit up better than the SP non-AGS 101 that I have. Um, that's kind of a cool mod that people do. They just rip off the top screen and put like a little light bar in there. It's kind of cool that they do that. Um, I'm hoping people are doing that with destroyed uh, DS's already though, instead of destroying a DS to make that. Although there is a hundred and something million DS's out in the wild, so I guess they're not really hurting anything by doing that. Uh, but that's my entire Game Boy collection. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, hopefully you uh, heard some games that you might want to try. If you're not subscribed already, be sure to do so. And being that I am collecting for the Game Boy Advance this year in 2020, uh, definitely leave some comments down below of some games that I should really be picking up. Definitely want to be pickling, ugh, pickling, picking up more of the Battle Mega Man Battle Network games. Um, probably some more of these Final Fantasy games and some other 
you know, just I just want to really uh, experience the GBA. There's, uh, I think, roughly 1,200 games in North America for the GBA, so it's kind of a lot. Um, and the cool thing is, uh, it's still a relatively cheap system to collect for. If you just go card only, I only have that one game complete. Actually, no, I do have uh, Advance Wars 2, still my original box, but that's the only other boxed game I have for the GBA, um, aside from Gunstar Heroes, wherever it went. Um, if you just go card only, most of the games are 5 to 20 bucks, and then some of the more sought after ones can be upwards of 50 bucks, and then there's some crazy ones that I just found out are like $900, so I'm never going to own those. But a lot of the games, pretty much I'd say at least 70% of the library is 5 to 20 bucks. So what do you got to lose? Try some GBA games out. Alright guys, peace out for now. Till next time. Come here, you mother. I'm <laughs>